Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving my husband a makeover and I'm really really excited about it and yeah, the reason why I decided to do this is because um, as mothers, as women, it's easy for us to see, you know, what we give up for our children. It's easy for us to see the sacrifices we make for our children. But for fathers, if you're not looking closely, you know, you might not see it. And most times people don't look closely to see what fathers are actually sacrificing for their children. You know, when it comes to my husband, he has been an amazing husband. He has been an amazing father. Um, yeah, he has changed a lot since when we met, um, both character-wise and looks-wise, okay? He has changed a lot. But one thing I realized is that he stops, you know, giving priority to his looks, to his clothes. It's been long that he shopped for himself. I think the last time he actually shopped for himself was in, um, um, I don't know, maybe like when Cora, Cora is my first daughter, she's five years by the way. I think it was when she was one year. Um, since then he has bought, you know, a shirt or trouser here or there. Um, I've also done the same for him, but nothing substantial. Like I said, he has been an amazing father. He has been an amazing husband. He's a very, very good provider. You know, he's someone that doesn't bat an eyelid when it comes to providing for his kids, when it comes to providing for the home, providing for me. But you guys, the amazing thing about him is not just that he's a good provider, Provider. He's actually a very hands-on dad. Most times he's not around because you know his job takes him out of the state but whenever he's around he's a hands-on. When I say hands-on I mean hands-on like he helps to take care of the kids, bath the kids, feed the kids, stay with them, you know, do their projects with them, do their assignments with them. Like he's, you, you can't find him lacking when it comes to being a very hands-on father. Even when he's not around, from wherever he is, he makes sure that everything is in place for his family, for his children. You guys, sometimes I try not to talk too much about these things, but you guys, when I say he's an amazing father, <laughs> I can't really explain it. Um, there's a joke that my friends always joke with me and they tell me that, ah, and I'm so spoiled, especially in the load, she's always telling me that, ah, my husband has spoiled me a lot, okay? That's because even when he's not around, I don't know what his mechanic, plumber, from wherever he is, I mean, we have cameras in the house as well, so from wherever he is, he's monitoring what is going on in the house, he's the one that's checking whether the car is, uh, whether there's fuel in the car, like, I don't used to know if there's fuel in the car, I'm the one driving the car, but I don't used to know whether there's fuel in the car or not, he's the one that will call me, if he's not around, he's the one that will call me, from wherever it is and ask me check the fuel level in the car if there's if the fuel level has gone down because it doesn't allow it go below half if it has gone down then he will send me money to go and you know fuel the car when he's around before he leaves for work he fuels the fuel tank in the cars fuel for the generator is always there in abundance um yeah he's always fixing little things around the house like I, I say I don't know which one is where uh, plumbers were like I'll just be in the house they'll call me and say Oga said I should come and fix this thing Oga said I should come and fix that thing like he's that good so for the longest time I've been thinking of what to do for him um, I actually promised him that I was going to buy him a PS5 <laughs> But you guys, the story with that PS5 is a story for another day. I said I was going to buy me PS5. When the thing that came out, the price was now more than what I expected. But I'm still going to get him a PS5. So for now, I decided to just give him a makeover. I contacted my personal shopper in the UK. Her name is Ada. You know, her no name of her business is Shopper Helper. I'll put a link in the description box in case you want to get something from the UK. I mean, she's your plug. Anyway, so I contacted her, told her what I wanted. I wanted to get clothes for him. Um, just clothes, accessories, belts, glasses. Uh, I didn't want to buy wristwatch for him. He has always been a wristwatch person, but recently he stopped buying wristwatches. I mean, he doesn't even wear his old wristwatches now. Um, the only one he wears is his smartwatch. So, I didn't buy wristwatch for him, but I bought, uh, you know, a pair of glasses i bought belts shoes and shirts okay so those ones came from the uk but i didn't buy trousers for him from the uk because i wanted him to actually test the trousers you know shopping for guys sometimes is not easy so when he came back i took him to a store and yeah we went there we tested you know different trousers and i got him trousers as well my plan initially was that i was going to give him a 180 complete makeover like i wanted him to be a different person but i thought about it okay if i stray too much from what he's comfortable with he's not going to wear those clothes at the end of the day so i'm just, I'm just going to waste my money if i do that so yeah even though i bought him nice stuff i tried to stay close to what he usually is comfortable with okay so yeah he's going to be trying on those outfits today i'm really really excited about it and also i'm going to be taking him to the barbing salon to get a haircut you guys my husband has not gone to the barbing salon since maybe 15 years yeah yeah like even before i met him he has never gone to the barbing salon like he has been cutting his 
his hair himself. Um, even for our wedding, he cut his hair himself. I'm just like, okay, what's all this? What's all this? <laughs> so today I tried, I, I convinced him that I must take him to the barber salon, let, let a professional cut his hair. He has been revolting against it though. He said doesn't want, that he can barb his hair himself, he can do this. I said, I know you can do it yourself, but for once, allow someone else to do it. You know to do it for you okay um so i'm really really excited about that i want them to change you know his the hairstyle because normally he baps his hair the same way all the time but i want them to give him a complete hairstyle change like i'm really excited i really can't wait to see how it is going to look before i actually planned that after getting a haircut he'll go for facials go for massage you know before we come back and test the outfits but he said no way no way that he's only just going to agree to um you know the haircut so i'm just like let me not just push it okay another day he will go for the massage and the facials okay i decided to make this video you know to encourage women out there if you have an amazing husband if you have a, a husband that is really really good i think you should appreciate him today okay yes we have mother's day like four or five mother's days you know but you know father's day is just one and sometimes it's easy like i said because we don't see we, we can't really gauge what they are sacrificing physically we tend to overlook you know the men in our lives or the fathers in our lives so please this is to encourage uh, women out there i mean if i can do it then nobody has an excuse okay <laughs> so go and buy stuff for your husband it, it, it doesn't have to be clothes it can be a gift it can be you know a wristwatch it can be anything but appreciate the men in your life today okay the good ones the good ones <laughs> Anyway, I've already talked so much, so let us go to the barber salon and then come back and test the clothes. Yay! So guys, my husband is almost done, like his hair is looking really really good, he's already looking very very different, like very different, in fact they didn't even do much, like they're not really reducing the height of his hair or you know his beard, but he's already looking like really really good and I'm excited, you know, even you're yeah, excited, that is looking fine I mean. but you guys, the biggest shocker of my life, I asked them how much, they told me 2000 naira, as in 2000 naira. All the hair they cut, all the beards, all the carving, all the everyday, even cut nose, cut ESF. <laughs> they shaved his nose, shaved his ears, shaved everything, all the shaving, carving, everything. 2000 naira only. Eh? It's too cheap, like too cheap. By the way, we had Jay Berries on. Um, Where's this place? I think this is Transamadi. Yeah, so this is uh, Jay Berries, a very nice place. Alright, guys, these are the stuff that I bought, and yeah, they came in this carton and some of the other cartons. These are t-shirts and look at this shoe. I like this shoe a lot. Um, this is a belt. Um, this is another pair of shoes. This one is also pair one. So these ones I got from the UK. These are another pair of shoes as well. Like you guys, I had to buy one in, in almost every color because I really liked it. This is blue, the other one is gray and black. And then these are white sneakers this one he actually chose this one himself these are just plain white sneakers um anyway okay then shirts oh the shirts are upstairs anyway he's going to be trying out all of them for you guys today to see okay so let me just go and um, bring out the shirts for him to wear he went to have his bath and wash you know he just um, came from the salon so he had to wash have his bath anyway so let's start <laughs>
dead. <laughs> So those are all the outfits, not all actually, but those are most of the outfits. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link to the outfits in the description box so that you guys can go if you want to buy for your husband or if you want to, if you're a man and want to buy, you can go and buy, okay? What do you rate that this outfit? Um, 10 over 10. 10 over 10. Eva, what do you rate that this outfit? Um, 10 over 10. 10 over 10, okay. Yeah. Sophia, what do you rate that this outfit? Present to you, Mr. Baby. So, yes, transform. How, what do you feel? How do you feel about your transformation? Uh, well, I feel younger. You look younger, actually. Yeah. Um. Actually, I'm finer. It looks smoother. Mm -hmm. But are you going to keep cutting your hair like this? Nope. Why? <laughs> nope. Why? You I guys look like a teenager. No, yes. doesn't look like a teenager. No, yes. you just look like a correct guy. What is correct? I look like your correct guy image. Yes, you look like my correct guy the image. Yes, whatever. But this is how I want you to be looking. Okay. Is that so? Yes. And he said that you know I didn't I didn't stay for the end of the um, haircut. So he said that afterwards they gave him what massage? Head massage, neck massage. Uh -uh. Had all the massage. On top 2,000 naira. <laughs> I actually had 20,000. Yeah, me too. When, I, when she told me 20k, as when she told me 2k, in my mind I thought she said 20k. I was not like, ah, this is expensive, but I was thinking to be like, you know, 10, 15k. Uh -uh. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's barbing hair, it's removing hair. They're not, mm -hmm. yeah, so. But anyway, um, do you like your clothes? Do you like. I'm going to wear those clothes. Oh, yes. Why not? Okay, yeah. And okay. actually, I still need more. <laughs> anyway, yes, so like I was telling them actually, the reason why I did it is to tell you thank you for being an amazing husband and father. Yes. But you know that, right? I used to tell you that, I mean, you did try. Uh, thank you for calling me in the night when I'm about to sleep. <laughs> that, the, <laughs> that the light is off. You guys see, I don't, I don't have energy. Like there was one night. In fact, it's not even once. I think I've done it several times. Like if I'm about to sleep and the light goes off, I'm just going to go and call him. The light has gone off. I don't care what you are doing there. Light has gone off, and I need to sleep. <laughs> and he always, if he's awake, he always answer, and he always try to look for a solution for it. You know, even if it's twelve midnight. In fact, there are many times I used to call him, and I'll be lamenting about whether Eva refused to sleep, Cora refused to do this one, uh, 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 Sophia refused to do that one. And then he'll be consoling me from there. But anyway, thank you for being a very good support, even when you are not around. And then when you're around, you used to, you know, you overdo self. So thank you. Yes. Anyway, thank you for taking care of the house when I'm not around. It's not easy. Uh, but you see how I did make over for you now, eh? Uh -huh. uh, you go, you tell me my own thank you too. <laughs> oh, well, I don't tell you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, try, yeah, try. Yeah, try. See how, see how I'm sweating. Uh, yeah, let's end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Okay, are you guys inspired to do something for the men in your lives? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for this. For this handsome looking man here, okay? Ah, ah, yes, so, yes, so. I'm back now. 
<laughs> so you guys give me the, give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it and all that good stuff okay and we'll see you all in my next video okay bye guys <laughs>